Wow, has God called you? Do you know if God has called you? Have you heard his voice? Let's look at this story about Samuel. In 1 Samuel chapter 3, Hannah, Samuel's mother, prayed to God and asked him to give her a son. God answered Hannah's prayer and she named the little boy Samuel. When Samuel was very young, his mother took him to Eli, who was the priest. Now, Samuel grew up helping the priest, helping Eli in the temple. She had promised God she would give her son to him. She would dedicate her son to him when she was praying for God to give her this child. One night, when Samuel and Eli were asleep in the temple, Samuel heard, Samuel heard someone call his name. Samuel ran to see who it was. He thought it was Eli, the high priest. Eli said, I didn't call you. So he, he went to sleep again. And then Samuel said to him, when someone call your name again, because he had heard it done three times now, he said, when you hear it again, realizing that this time being the high priest, that it was God calling this young man. He said, say to him, here am I. So Samuel heard the calling again. And he said, speak, Lord, here am I. Your servant is listening. God called Samuel again and talked with him. When Samuel was older, God made him a prophet, a priest, and a judge over Israel. Wow. And God called us even when we're children, even when we're in our mother's womb. When we read in the book of Jeremiah, he says, I knew you. I knew you even before you were you were in your father's loins. I knew you. And then in Jeremiah 29, 11, he says, I know the plans I have for you, plans to prosper you. You know how to, yes. Has God called you yet? Let's, let's seek his face and then say, here am I, Lord. Speak. This is the encourager. Queen see no longer about. See you right here next time.